Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do an unboxing and kind of a comparison video of this Gaming Essentials keyboard and mouse. This is Amazon's number one best-selling keyboard and I was in the market for a new keyboard so I'm going to give it a try. So it's got this little seal we got to cut. So let's do the keyboard first. Looks like it's very well protected. I've got everything upside down. So looks like a pretty nice keyboard. Now I'm all about are the keys relatively quiet because I was on my old one I was typing and man they were just super loud. So so far seems pretty good. It's got this long It's like a pretty long USB cord. That's kind of unusual. It's kind of long in this area. Maybe it's easier to plug in that way. But we're going to plug it in. We're going to take a look, see how it looks. Um, pretty, pretty basic. It's got your flip out legs. Those do have some grip on them. I do like that. And there are three gripper bumpers here. So it's yeah, it doesn't want to it doesn't want to move on you. And that doesn't feel the smoothest right there, but I don't think that'll be an issue. I do I do do a lot of typing, so I'm not necessarily using this for gaming. So let's go on to the mouse. The mouse gets really good reviews, and I'm not I'm I wasn't in the market for a mouse, but you had to buy this as a set. So. Looks like it's got two buttons on the side. I'm sure you can program. These seem real sensitive. Thumb wheel. There was something here you can um, adjust the weights on that or something. It's got a really nice red long USB cord. So we're going to plug these in and give them a look. It's got a nice manual. It comes with a nice sticker. So let's plug them in and give them a try. Okay, so let me just go over my old one real quick. Um, it's got really quiet keys. I do have one other keyboard that I had to put away because it just was too loud. But uh, this is a Microsoft one. Um, I'm not sure they still make these anymore, but it's it's just really, really nice. It's got a lot of, I don't use a lot of the functions, but it does have power or volume and different things. But boy, the keys just feel really nice but it's not backlit or anything it is wired and my mouse i've just had really good luck with these logitech uh, wireless mouses seems like with a mouse you just you don't want the wire but uh yeah these have the back buttons like i like okay so when you first plug it in it it sets up really well but the lights are kind of um flashing it's not i'm gonna have to read the manual it's not real um, easy to see how to adjust the lights and all that so I'll read the manual but it plugs in and works right away okay so I had to get the directions out to see how to change the light colors and all that it's not real I mean once you got the directions it's real easy but but just by looking at the keyboard you you really wouldn't guess it but it all has to do with these keys right here so these six keys control the keyboard but you got to hit the function key first so you got the function key here you're gonna hit the function key here and that kind of changes it to slow um, rolling between the, the lights the function home is single color and I can just cycle through all the different colors page up down is um, static so it just has a one it has all the LED lights kind of all through the keyboard function delete that's that kind of neon sign mode 
there's a couple. And then function end. It's kind of a slow on off fade. And function page down turns it on and off. That turns your keyboard on and off. So let's go to a steady color. So even though I got it on steady color, I got to turn off that fading. So now the fading's off. Okay, so I want to go over the backlighting. So the the keys are backlit too, and there's also backlighting come out coming out around the keys. It's got this nice display up here. Hard to tell if these are backlit. Just not sure. I don't think those up there are. But it looks like everything else, even the space bar, that line there is lit up really nice. So it looks really nice. I'm just going to test. And I'm going to test on this one. So that's about the same sound. The Microsoft one might be a little more softer. And the keys. You know, but you still get that kind of plasticky banging feel. Oh, one thing I want to make sure you have. Make sure the... So the backspace is two spots. I don't know why some keyboards the backspace is one spot. And you, it's almost unusable because you're just so used to that backspace being two. You know, the inner looks good. So all in all, this, this is a really nice keyboard. It's got the arm or the wrist rest there. The keys look like they're positioned right. Okay, so this is the brightness of the keyboard. So holding the function, you can change the brightness. And I, and I had it on full brightness the whole time. Okay, so one thing I was worried about, this pause and play and all this, this works with like YouTube videos and stuff. But the volume's kind of hidden. So to turn the volume up and down, it's these buttons here. And it works. I, I would like the volume to be a little more like up here, maybe kind of real obvious, but that's that's the volume. Okay, so the mouse has sort of a rough texture feel, which that's a little unusual. Um, it's got a really nice, it's really lit up really nice. I'm not sure if you can change the color other than red. Um, it does have this button here. Okay, so the mouse, I'm not a gamer, but the mouse... This button here adjusts the DPI, and when you press it once, it, it, the, it that light blinks just a little bit. It blinks a little bit faster, and it blinks really fast, and then it blinks, blinks really fast. And that corresponds with what the instructions say. You either get 800 DPI, 16, 24, or 32. Like I said, I don't necessarily know what that means, but I do notice that the mouse moves different on the... Uh, on the screen yeah when you when it's like that you get more movement from the mouse okay that makes sense so the moves the mouse moves a long ways whenever um, it's blinking really fast so I'm, I'm sorry that I don't know much about the gaming side of this mouse this this mouse seems like a really good mouse um, and everything else is pretty standard except for I, I wasn't used to that button and what it did um, there are no other buttons on the right side, and there's just two buttons on the left. And then you've got these, right click, left click, and scroll, and you can press the scroll button too. And it talks about balance. I've never balanced a mouse. Okay, so by just barely turning it like I did, and then you, you got to dump it over and knock it out. But it does have a bunch of weights. And it looks like all the weights are installed, and I guess you can take some of the weights out. Because the mouse did feel kind of heavy at first, so you may want to think about taking some of the weights out. But I've never balanced a mouse before. 
I'm sure if you're a real big gamer, that might be a real big feature. But like I said, I just don't like corded mouses. This has kind of a rough texture, which that's okay. I just want to let you know about it. And it's, you know, it is lit up. But it tracks really well. And it feels really nice. It fits your hand really nice. Okay, so both cords are, are identical the same length, and I'm going to measure them. So both cords are about 70, between 69 and 70 inches long. So I just wanted to show you this old keyboard I've got. So I, my original lit keyboard was this AZIO. Um, I really liked it, but it, it's loud. The keys are extremely loud. When I was doing a lot of typing and these are, there's really no cushion. But I do like the controls. They're easy. You got volume. Um, and it's got this. So the I like this. This is a little control panel for the LED lights. You just press a button. It changes it. So it's real simple. Real easy to use. This thumb wheel turns the LED lights up or down. So this keyboard had a lot of potential. Um, it just, it's extremely loud. So I just wanted to show you this. They still sell this on Amazon. But this is the main reason. I wanted the lit keyboard because I'm going to get rid of this one. So again, this keyboard is Amazon's number one best selling in PC gaming. Um, it says it comes in two colors. I think the other one's white. You know, they run $44. There's a th $3 coupon. So they're always kind of putting this one on special. Uh, I am going to keep it though. I actually really like it. So it's kind of expensive. I'm going to mainly keep the keyboard. You know, I'm going to have, the, it's always nice to have extra mouses around. I didn't buy it for the mouse, but it is a pretty nice mouse. But I mainly bought it for a backlit keyboard, which this is kind of expensive, $44 for a backlit keyboard. But it's quiet and it feels like it's made really well. So again, this is Just a Dad. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.